Hey, what's going on, guys? Sky Fury DX, and welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, we've got a data download on the global side of the game. We can see the new cards that are coming to the game. We've got, uh, obviously, the New World Tournament that's coming up. So, this is just basically everything to do with the World Tournament. Plus, there was some um, uh, files in the uh, in the data that are suggesting that we are getting the Gotenks and Kibu um, are going to be the next Dokkan Fest exclusives coming. So we're going to go over this uh, this stuff right here. Uh, this is basically just everything uh, coming as part of the new World Tournament. So I'll start by just talking about the World Tournament. This is the 33rd, 34th World Tournament. Okay. World Tournament is really, really, uh, like, it's tedious. It's, uh, it's, like, if you've done it a few times, it's not fun. Like, you've pr definitely probably worked that out if you've done it, like, a few times, like what I have. Uh, but if you are uh, relatively new, um, then, uh, you know, World Tournament is definitely bearable. Okay, um, now, with the World Tournament, if you're, uh, like, if you're competing this time, the new reward card is the Trunks. Trunks is, uh, like, he's he's pretty solid, but, like, what I'm really looking forward to from this World Tournament, it's this uh, High School Gohan Awakening and the new local LR reward, which is the Demon King Piccolo. Okay, so, um, World Tournament, I have uh, been sort of tossing and turning, umming and ahhing whether or not I'm going to be doing this World Tournament or not. Um, I've just been super, super hectic with like work life and everything else that I got going on in, in real life. But um, I think I have uh, made myself a bit of space and I'm going to be having a bit of a run at the World Tournament this weekend. So, um, I mean, yeah, I... The, the reason why I need to do it so badly is because I am out of physical orbs. Like, I've got physical units, like I've pulled Piccolo, I, I can't uh, put any orbs into Piccolo. I've pulled Beerus, I can't put any orbs into Beerus. Um, it's, yeah, I, like, you, you've got the uh, blue Goku and Vegeta coming out probably December. I need them orbs, man. <laughs> I need them orbs. So to get the uh, uh, to get the trunks, I believe like with with trunks you need um, what do you need like 23, 23 million and you and you can get the you can get the trunks. Uh, where is yeah here here we go um, trunks yeah 23 million points will get you a copy of the trunks. And then, if you want to go for dupes in him, you're going to get that from the, um, like, from the placing rewards here. So, um, like, I think you need to get, uh, yeah. So, like, if you can get to top, um, top 1,000, uh, top 2,000, then that'll give you four of the trunks, and you can rainbow him. But um, yeah, anything in this top bracket right here. Uh, this is where you get the orbs, so uh, this is, uh, like, if you're planning on going pretty hard in the World Tournament, this is uh, sort of where you want to be, where you want to be going, because um, just, like, the orb rewards are that good. Like, if you can get in the top 100, you know, look at, look at all of these orbs, you get, like, 500, um, 500 large of each type, 5,000 medium of each type, and 9,000 small. It's like it's enough to rainbow two units of every typing, so um, that'll that'll definitely help the old old supply. Uh, apart from that, um, there's like a whole bunch of elder kais to be had from the world tournament. Grand kais, you can get the SSR tickets for the um, for the world tournament summon banners, um, and uh, there's also like quite a bit of dragon stones that you can get from uh, from doing this. Okay, so. I'm going to start off by just talking about the, the Trunks. Trunks is, he's a movie hero's support unit. He's, uh, like, he's okay now. He's nothing really special, it doesn't look like. But, uh, I mean, by the time this guy gets a Dokkan Awakening, um, I can imagine that he's going to be really, really top tier. <coughs> uh, plus as well, because there's so few of these Trunks team um, units in the game. Um, so yeah, basically uh, Trunks, he 
because of supreme damage, he's got a medium percent chance of stunning the enemy, and that is uh, that's 30 percent. Uh, his passive skill, attack and defense, 70 percent, and he changes physical key spheres to rainbow. He's got a medium percent chance of evading, and I believe that's 25, 25 percent, um, including super attacks. Um, 25 percent, it's like it's better than nothing, but it's nothing really to be relied upon. I don't. Uh, I'm not really that high on um, this like medium chance. Like it's just like it, it's it's too low, man. You can't rely on it. You really, really can't rely on it. That's why I'm looking forward to this guy getting a Dokkan Awakening already. Uh, so he's also like movie heroes, category allies, key plus two, attack 20% and 10% uh, defense. And his his links. He's just got. You know, the standard run-in-the-mill uh, trunks links like Messenger from the Future, the Sand Lineage, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Sea Fighters, and Visible Future. Um, so this guy here, like he's he's going to be pretty solid. He is giving himself defense, so that is uh, that's definitely good. He's not just going to get like cream pied by everything. Um, I can like. Like, if this guy gets a Dokkan Awakening, and this goes to, like, a high chance of stunning the enemy, so that's, like, 50%, and, uh, like, a high chance of evading, and then move heroes, category allies, key plus two, attack 40%, and defense 20%, I think that'd be pretty solid, and then, you know, if they wanted to give him something else as well, then that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. They could even awaken him into a Super Sam. So, anyway, this is the new uh, World Tournament reward card. Uh, this is uh, this is the Demon King Piccolo. This is the new local reward card. Okay, Demon King Piccolo, fantastic, fantastic, awesome, awesome unit. Especially he is extreme tech, and extreme tech has just got so few options. Okay, so Demon King Piccolo, uh, he is terrifying conquerors category key plus three HP attack and defense one twenty percent, and his super attack. His 12 key raises defense by uh, for one turn by 30% and causes colossal damage to the enemy. His 18 key super raises his defense by 50% and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. His passive attack plus 6,000 per key sphere per tech key sphere obtained. He reduces damage received by 50% with five or more key spheres obtained, and he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, uh, tech excluded, to tech. Um, and he also, uh, so he restore, okay, so that is, uh, I was just getting a little bit tied up there, that is, um, he restores using the Dragon Ball's power when conditions are met, so restores meaning like transformation, so he rejuvenates meaning like he restores, okay, so you restore youth using the Dragon the power of the Dragon Ball starting from the 7th turn from the start of the battle or when there is a Dragon Ball Saga, World Tournament or Dragon Ball Seekers category enemy. So you can chain this like if you're fighting a lot of enemies and they're all like World Tournament enemies. Like let's say we're going to get a uh, World Tournament uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history. Uh, you could get Demon King Piccolo out straight away. And this Demon King Piccolo is insane. This Demon King Piccolo is insane. Uh, his super attack, he raises attack and defense uh, by 30% for one turn and causes colossal damage to the enemy. And his 18 key raises his attack and defense by 50% and causes mega colossal. And his passive skill is Feeling of Boundless Power, and that is attack plus 6,666 per key sphere obtained, so Devil's Number. Uh, reduced damage received by 66 for five turns from the start of turn. That's insane. Damage reduction. Uh, reduced damage received by 50% with five or more key spheres obtained, starting from the sixth turn. <laughs> you know, you get this. This guy's making tech key spheres, and you get five or more, and you get 50% damage reduction. Uh, <laughs> And he ran so and he's randomly changing the key spheres. Okay, so this guy here, he is gonna be crazy, crazy offensive. And he's gonna be um, like you know, he's raising attack and defense on super. This guy is uh, like he's a big, big step up from that uh, physical LR Yamcha. 
Okay, so what uh, what have we got next? Um, this is just another uh, another unit that's coming on the Dragon Ball um, the Dragon Ball Saga banner. It's a uh, full power Jackie Chun, and he is uh, on his super attack. He greatly lowers his defense. And he greatly lowers defense. His passive skill. Um, attack and defense 130% when performing a super attack and Kamehameha um, category allies key plus 2 and attack 20% okay that's uh, pretty interesting like Kamehameha is definitely a category that could use um, support uh, realm of gods Kamehameha like look at this point, I'm still going to be putting Kamehameha second to Realm of Gods. I think Realm of Gods is a superior team. But as soon as you give Kamehameha just a little bit more, um, a little bit more support, then hmm, that that's going to be really, really good. Okay. Um, so yeah, definitely. Um, like if, if uh, this if this Jackie Chun can awaken and uh, you know he's turns out to be a really solid support option for Kamehameha, for Kamehameha then that'd be really good but like really we we need Sans. Uh, this is the awakening for high school Gohan and uh, this right here is a crazy crazy awakening. On his super attack he's causing supreme damage with a medium uh, chance of stunning the enemy and medium is I believe that's 30% just yeah, 30%. And his passive, he is doing attack and defense plus 58%, and he's reducing damage received by 58%. Superclass allies, key plus 2, and attack and defense 30%. Okay, so that is, uh, like, that's that's pretty good. That is, uh, that's really good. It's like, that damage reduction, 58% damage reduction, he's giving himself 58% defense. He's also giving himself an additional 30% defense. You know, this guy's good. This guy is uh, this guy's a solid, solid option for... He'd definitely be good on the Margin Buu Saga. Um, siblings Bond, he'd do really well because he's got the Shattering the Limit and like all of these, uh, like Golden Warrior. And yeah, he's, he's going to be really solid. So if you've got this high school Gohan, get excited to awaken him because he's going to be really, really good. Apart from that, that's like pretty much everything with the World Tournament. Uh, the stones that you can get from the World Tournament, I think it's like 50. I think each World Tournament there's about 50 stones up for grabs. So you do the World Tournament, you uh, do all the missions and that's a lot of stuff. That's a, like a multi. Um, so apart from the World Tournament, um, We've also got some news that uh, we are, in fact, going to have uh, this guy and this guy coming uh, as part of the next celebration. They are going to be the next, uh, so the Dual Dokkan Fest exclusives for the month of November. And um, basically, these guys right here, I mean, this guy here is, this, this guy is ass, he, like he's, he's butt cheeks. This guy here is pretty solid. Like, he's he's really solid, but it's just that it takes him so long to get here. Like, it, it takes him, like, what does it take him? So, he transforms into the Evil Boo on the third turn, and then uh, starting from the fourth turn after the exchange. So, wow, so that's like seven turns. You, you don't get this guy seven turns. And that's just... That's just not good enough, man. Like, it takes so long to get this guy out that uh, it just... Yeah, it just means that this this guy here is just not as good as, as what he uh, could be. Uh, we've also got the Gotenks. Gotenks is... Uh, I mean, before we move on to Gotenks, I'll, I will just say this. The Margin Power and Artificial Life Forms category... Uh, for a uh, dual leader skill, like that there, that's that's top tier. Artificial life forms is crazy, crazy good. Like we, I just want to open artificial life forms. I just want to take a look at this. Look at look at who we've got on artificial life forms. We've got LR Baby. Okay, we've got we got the boot. We got 
we got cell we got the LR cells. Like uh, we've we've got uh, Android 13, we've got Android 17. Just had his uh, Easy A on global. Um, like this is a pretty solid team, the artificial life forms uh, category, and then you combine that with margin power, and like you know what you got on margin power. It's uh, yeah, I mean it's it's really really good. Um, okay, so moving on to Go Tanks. Go Tanks is uh, a lot better than Boo. Like I can I can see myself using this Go Tanks a lot more than what I can this guy right here. Uh, but I still like. I mean, look, I'll, I'll talk about these guys um, more in a future uh, video. I'll go into a little bit more detail on them. I mean, this Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks here is phenomenal. Uh, but uh, like, I, I just want to say like this this guy's leader skill, special pose, which is the most ridiculous category in the game. Like, look look at this look at this just. Abomination of, of a category. Special pose category, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and, and then the youth category. Like, the youth category needs work. Like, youth category has got, like, nothing on it. You know, it, like... We, we... Yeah, I mean, this leader skill is absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Um, would I summon on these banners? Hell no. Hell no. Do not summon on the banners. Do not summon on the banners. What have I got here? I've got... So this is... Uh, this is the Boo banner. Don't... Uh, yeah. This is... These banners here, guys, like, they're just hard, hard skips. Okay, you look at who's on the banner. You got the new Boo who, you know, if you can... I suppose, like, there's no harm in having this Boo. He'd definitely come in handy. Uh, we've got the Vegeta. He's been around now, what, he's been on two or three banners on Global, and all, like, really super recently as well. AGL Zamasu, he came out this time last year. He's been around now, like, three or four or five banners. I mean, he's rainbowed now. I've got a couple of copies of his SSR. We've got the Physical Broly, came out the same time as Zamasu. He is, uh, yeah, like, we've seen him just... A million times. Uh, AGL Metal Cooler literally like just came out was on uh, whose banner was he on? Was he on Gohan's banner? Uh, I, I forget but yeah we've just seen this guy. STR Super Boo. <laughs> okay it's definitely got a little bit better since the Link Level Up system but um, yeah he was literally like just on what was it? Was he on uh, like Boo Boo, Tank, uh, Boo Tanks banner, Some, something like that? But yeah, he's like literally just been. Um, and we've got uh, we've got uh, Tech Broly as well, who has just been like a million banners. So this banner right here is absolute garbage. We look over on this banner here, the Go Tanks banner. And it's about the same sort of scenario, okay? The only difference is uh, probably this Piccolo. I think like a less people would have summoned for the Piccolo um, than, uh, I mean... Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, I don't... Like, I don't think... I don't think too many people would have summoned on this Piccolo. But, I mean, oh, look, you've got... You got tech go tanks, physical go tanks, like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> these are not, these are not banners that you want to summon on at all, okay? Like, they're gonna have tickets, they're probably gonna have discount summons. Do not, like, I would not recommend summoning on these banners. Like, what are you gonna gain from, the, from them? Unless you've got, like, unless you've got none of these guys rainbowed or anything, then you know, sure, but even still, like, probably not. But, look at, look at these, uh, these new banners that are coming out on, uh, on the Japanese side of the game. We have got, uh, where, where is the new one? Where's the, where's the freezer banner? Oh, 
the hell? Why can't I find the freezer banner in here? He's like literally, he's still... Oh, here, here we go. This is a new banner that's uh, uh, on the Japanese version. Look at the value that you get on this banner. You get the new Freezer, you get Beerus, Kaoken Goku, STR Coolers here, um, Namek Goku. Like this is uh, this is a pretty crazy banner. Um, the even the even the Gohan banner uh, when that came out uh, on the Japanese version that that was pretty solid as well. I mean we've already had the Gohan banner, but. Uh, basically, the point that I'm trying to make is that these banners now, like, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Okay, guys, so that is, uh, that about does it for today. So, um, yeah, um, I am uh, probably going to knock out a few videos tomorrow, uh, pre-record a bit of content because I'm going to be doing that world tournament grind over the weekend. So, um, thanks for Thanks guys for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.